Good evening. Uh, I found myself with some extra time today, so I figured I should make a YouTube video. Uh, what I really should have been doing today is uh, being at a concert, but it was so boring, so I <laughs> just went home instead. Figured I could do something useful. Um, what I want to show you today is some new stuff we're work working on. I think uh, the things I'm going to show you now is what we're going to be publishing soon. Um, we are planning on making a new updated meta view of the meta decks of Etherhub. So as you know, we have the deck hub uh, and uh, under here we have all the user user posted decks and all the content creator decks. They are all under browse decks, which is the view I'm looking at right now. We also have an organized write-up view and a video view found here. Uh, so all the write-ups are here for you that are interested in this. And also all the videos are here. Uh, it's not possible to search for that in the uh, in the deck hub view under the browse decks. Uh, so we made separate views for those. And I think this looks uh, a lot better for, for uh, videos. You can play them directly in your browser. Um, and also the write-ups leads you to a special view. So we have that, and so that's one part of the deck hub, and then you have uh, this part with the meta lists, uh, with all the tournament lists. So we made this um, this for uh, the tier one interested people. Uh, all the uh, latest tournament results, you can click here and go into them and explore them. And we also have the meta stats, and this is where it gets a little bit confusing because these meta stats displays. Uh, the uh, most used cards and the most used archetypes for user posted decks and well also the meta decks uh, because they're all uh, mashed together so and the third thing we have here is also your own decks and the deck builder tool and your favorites so what we're planning to do is kind of split this a uh, little bit up. We're going to keep all the user posted decks under the deck view. And we are also going to keep all the like my decks and the deck builder under here. But we're going to split out uh, the tier one meta lists. We're going to split out these and make a separate. I think it's going to be called like something like meta game or something uh, or tier one meta or like a new, a new button up here. Uh, with this and also stats for on only the tier 1 meta and also a new view which kind of summarizes all the uh, the meta decks in a useful uh, in a useful view which you might have seen on other sites uh, so at the beginning we thought the, it was enough with just building this uh, so we have all the tournaments list you can click in here and that would be enough but we found it really interesting looking at stats for only the meta lists and uh, not not for everything like I think we're gonna keep this under the deck of view and we're also gonna make a new stat list which is only for for uh, the tier 1 meta decks I'm gonna tab into uh, this view uh, which is something I call the meta game, uh, and this is data taken f taken just from another side. This is just a mockup. Uh, it's not data from our database. I've just been working on the view. Uh, Magnus will be working on the backend, coding that up, uh, and this is how we we um, figure this view will look. Uh, it will look a little bit different because well, the bars here will be uh, be different. This will be like on the top. Like now, it represents. It's it's like, kind of like a. Uh, weird view uh, right now. So th this will be adjusted, but it's basically gonna look like this like the most used archetype is gonna be on the top uh, So 20.56 of the meta is mono red aggro and th that means 88 decks of the current tournament list these last uh, 30 days or two months are, are um, mono red Esper makes up 36 decks and also 8% um, and we're gonna group all the uh, the related like all the 88 decks is gonna pop up when you click on this um, So the deck that will be selected here that you're gonna be brought to will be the newest deck of that archetype from the newest tournament uh, So the, you can see that, that these are quite old It's because I'm uh, watching my test database now and this has old data. I haven't updated it uh, And there's also pains for uh, modern legacy and vintage uh, the standard, I think, is going to be the latest 
uh, decks from the uh, from the latest 30 days uh, while the other other formats is going to be longer i'm not sure what uh, like the meta doesn't change very often there so i guess like three months or even maybe more is, is okay and there's not uh, as much uh, as many lists in those formats so the idea here is that clicking this will bring you into like the latest list and it, it will be a view that is kind of similar to the public decks and not not exactly the same obviously we want to keep the visual view the cmc view and the compact view uh, we're really happy with how they work so we're gonna implement that here too uh, with a link to the public deck here and also of course the export buttons are very important uh, but the, the main difference is that this view is going to be unique. Uh, we might also have some, some stats, other stats under the deck. Uh, and on the side it's going to be all the 88 decks that are related to, to this deck. So you can like click through, like see it, that this will be the newest and freshest decks that we show, that we show you, the newest uh, of the list, but if you want another variation or want to look at other variations of the deck or have your own ideas, you can like you will have 88 decks uh, running down here that you can click and uh, look at. That will be related. Uh, so, so the way this works is that we we have to we go through all the decks in the latest tournament list and compare the cards. Uh, so we have to find like you have to group the cards intelligently so this it might take some time to to figure out how this works but it might even be be something we can publish right after this weekend in uh, like in five days or something uh, i'm not sure how far Magnus has come with uh, working on this so this is probably something you will see pretty soon uh, I think this will be the first thing we'll make. We also have some other stuff in the making that I will talk about uh, in another video. <clears throat> but we basically have to group together decks that are um, kind of the same. And that's uh, that's a very heavy query or query for the database to run all the time. So we have to have some intelligent caching and stuff like that. And it uh, it's not something we want to do to update it very often uh, obviously just we just need to update every time a new tournament decks deck come in um and yeah i think i think this will be a very nice view to have so we can see like easily see and over this is like only five so obviously there will be a lot more decks it will basically be all the decks in the tournament lists uh, ranked with the most used i just um uh, since this is not pulled from our database, this is just some example data, so this is all hard-coded in here. Um, so it's not pulling the real lists. Um, so all in all, if you have any feedback uh, or anything you want to say about this view, please leave something in the comment or get in our Discord uh, to discuss this. I'm happy with, with how it looks here. I, I'm not sure if I want to keep this top list. Uh, and there's also going to be a huge change in how this looks, all of this. Uh, not sure how I am going to handle that. Uh, we are also going to have another button here soon, which is called the market view. So there's going to be two more. It's going to be a tier one button and a market. And as you can see, space is kind of starting to run out. It's not a problem in the big view, uh, but it is a problem if you have like looking at a pad and stuff. You see that the buttons are getting really close. I need to figure out how to... Maybe I can. Hi I could hide the text, but I think that's taking away way too much. Uh, I'm in, in, this, in, in the mobile view, it's okay because it's a vertical list, making it easy to have more icons. Uh, the problem is on desktops that are about like pads, maybe, touch pads that are like uh, this size, like there's not much room for two more here. Uh, so that is something I, that that's a challenge to get that to look smooth. And also in the future, more, more buttons. Well, anything else? No, I think I want to save the rest for uh, another video. Um, the thing that needs the most work here, I think this is kind of fine the way it looks here, and uh, this is done. 
uh, and this only needs the, the the big work is this view like I, I want to make this look interesting and I want it to make look a bit different from the uh, public deck list I don't want it to be all the same um, so I, I'm not sure I think there's gonna be some stuff we're gonna have some stats about the deck here how many decks are like and which which cards are the key cards and stuff like that that uh, but yeah I think that's it for this video and I will be trying to post more videos like this uh, in the upcoming uh, months I want to be more active on YouTube I haven't been that lately um, I'm also doing since I'm I'm so distracted with the work it's hard to balance kind of going from sitting alone and coding and then doing some YouTube stuff I'm not really so please bear with me it's gonna, <laughs> it takes me a time it takes me a little bit of time to adjust to making videos it's still kind of awkward <laughs> well I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching